Now, if you're tired of using ChatGPT and you're looking for an AI research assistant that's truly built for academic research, I'm going to compare two new AI tools, Afri and PaperGuide. Now, these two tools are on sale on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. Now, watch until the end to see which of these two AI research assistants are right for you. Now I'm going to add these two tools in my Notion spreadsheet of the best SaaS tools to grow your business. Now if you want free access to this Notion document, click the link in my description and fill out the form. Now you'll notice another link to a quiz, a five question quiz that you can answer to help you determine which of these two AI research assistants is right for you. So if you wanna take that short five question quiz, click the link in my description and you can fill that out. Now Afri is on AppSumo and it starts at $69 and the deal is tied to all future professional plan or unlimited plan updates. One thing to keep in mind is that once the rate limit is exceeded, AI will use Azure GPT 3.5 until the three hour time frame is reset. So if you go over your limit within a three hour time frame, it'll switch to Azure GPT 3.5. So if you are wanting to solely use OpenAI or Anthropic, this might be an issue for you. So just keep that in mind. So these are the three tiers that you can purchase. All tiers have unlimited chatbots and AI queries. What's really nice is that regardless of which tier you get, you can bring your own key via open router to access more AI models. One thing I don't like about tier one is that it only gives you unlimited use of the standard native AI models, which are GPT 3.5, 4o mini and Claude Haiku. To get the more advanced AI models, you would need to upgrade to tier two, where you will get unlimited use of GPT-4, 4o, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And with tier two, your advanced AI model rate limit are 20 calls per three hours. And with tier three, your limits increase and you also get organization billing, which are two extra free LTD tier one seats. So I think for this deal, Licensed Tier 2 would be the sweet spot because you get unlimited use of GPT-4, 4.0, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet to do all of your academic research. Now, Afri is structured in a very nice way. So there's three basic things you can do. You can write your documents with the help of AI. You can upload all of your documents and organize them in various libraries and folders, and you can chat with your documents that you've uploaded as well to do all of your research before you write your documents. So to start, what you would usually do is upload your documents in the reference manager. So as an example, I'm writing a research paper on the effects of apple cider vinegar on blood glucose levels. So I found three articles and I uploaded them in my apple cider vinegar folder. So when you upload, just click here, you can upload any file, URL, or document. And you can also manually create an article, journal article, and all of these other pieces of documents as well. So say for example, if I want to create a journal article, I would upload the file right here and then update the citation information right here as well if needed. Now to delete this, I'm going to right click and click on move to trash. Now after you upload your documents, you can chat with them. So if I go to research assistant, I can click on new chat. Now this functions very similar to ChatGPT, so your history is on the left and you can chat right here. We then need to click on connect files and I'm going to select the apple cider vinegar folder and now we can start our research so i can say something like what are the effects of apple cider vinegar on blood glucose levels so you can choose your ai model right here and you have the option to do the document retrieval which will conduct your research using your uploaded files complete with citations. You could also use their Semantic Scholar, which will augment your research with data from a 200 million peer-reviewed research papers database. You could also use Google Search to enrich your research with information from Google, 
complete with citations, or just use no tool. So no additional algorithms, just use Afri's AI capabilities as they are. But I want to do document retrieval here, then click on send. Now Afri will analyze my three documents and produce a response. Okay, here we go. So it says, based on the information provided in the connected documents, here is what we can say about the effects of apple cider vinegar on blood glucose levels. It also gives you a nice summary right here. Now let's try again. So instead of document retrieval, let's do Google search and let's click on regenerate. So now it's using uh, Google search. Okay, so here is the response. And in terms of the data sources, it used the URLs that I uploaded, including other URLs as well. So it's a combination of both. Now, once you do your research, you can start writing in the document writer. Now, this outline was created through Afri. So if I toggle on the research assistant, you could chat with the documents you've uploaded to the right and then do your writing on the left hand side. So as you could see, I said, come up with an outline explaining the effects of apple cider vinegar on glucose levels. And after I generated this outline, and one thing I noticed was that the formatting could be better. So I asked it to format it better and it did. So this is the introduction, mechanisms of actions, effects on glucose levels in diabetes, so on and so forth. So I basically just copied this and pasted it in my document right here. So now we can continue to research and write our paper. One thing to note is that you can connect your document to the AI assistant and ask research questions on your writing. So you can toggle this on or off and you can choose whether or not you want the document retrieval, semantic scholar, Google search, or no tool as well as you are doing your research with the AI chat right here. And we can have the AI write the article as well. So if you highlight something, you can chat with AI, insert a citation or format the text. So let's click on chat with AI. And then I can say something like, give me a short intro paragraph for this section, then click on send. Okay, so here is my intro so I can copy this and I can paste it right over here. And if I want to cite this, I can click on insert citation and add the citation right over. I need to search for it and then it'll be added right here. So what I really like about Afri is that you can use the AI chat right here and write your article right here. So you could use both in conjunction with each other as you are writing your research paper. Now, when it comes to the document storage limits, 20 gigabytes, 60 or unlimited, I think 20 gigabytes is pretty good already because if you are uploading mainly URLs or just standard PDFs, the sizes are pretty uh, small. So I don't think you will have any issue with these document storage limits. And I think you definitely want the more advanced AI models, especially if you are doing academic research. Paper guide. So this starts at uh, $69 and this deal is tied to all future starter or advanced plan updates. Now, one thing I really like is that advanced AI models are part of all the three tiers, which is great because you get access to GPT-4, 4.0 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, even with tier one. Now the storage limits are exactly the same for tier one and tier two for Afri. Now with tier three, you get 100 gigabytes, but with Afri, you get unlimited uh, document storage. Now the API calls are similar. So 20 calls in three hours for tier one, 50 calls in three hours for tier two and same for tier three. And with Afri, it's 20 calls for the advanced AI models and 50 for tier three. So similar with paper guide and paper guide also has the feature of data extractions, which I'll show you in a moment. And with tier two and three, you get unlimited AI writer content humanizer and plagiarism checks for tier two and for tier three. So I think the sweet spot would be uh, tier two because you do get the unlimited AI writer content humanizer and unlimited AI writer plagiarism checks. So there are many similarities and differences with Paper Guide and Afri. So you can chat with your documents. Now it's only PDFs that you can chat with. You could do AI research, 
So search or ask a question and get answers from top papers directly. So Paper Guide has access to tons of papers and you can do your research right here. You can also do a literature review, so find top research papers, and you can extract data from the documents that you've uploaded. Okay, so let's go to my references. So these are all the documents that I've uploaded. You can create multiple folders. This is my apple cider vinegar folder with tons of PDFs and URLs I've uploaded. Now, many of these documents actually come from Paper Guide. So I searched, I did the AI search, and I found relevant articles and I put it in my apple cider vinegar uh, folder. Now to add a paper, just click here. So you can upload a URL, search papers online, upload files, import them or add them manually. So once you've uploaded all of your documents, you can chat with them very similar to Afri. So what I'm gonna do is select the papers uh, that I want to chat with. Now again, only the PDFs you could chat with. Now, if you upload a URL, Paper Guide will turn it into a PDF. So you can chat with URLs because they are transferred over to PDFs. So I'm gonna select these three, then click on uh, chat with papers. So now we can chat with the paper and you can see an example of that paper right here. So this is a website article turned into a PDF. Now we can ask any question we want. And there's a couple of questions. So let's just say, how does apple cider vinegar affect health? And Paper Guide will analyze the documents I've uploaded to come up with the response. Okay, here we go. So it listed out uh, four benefits and a conclusion. So once we do our research in the chat view, we can start writing by going to the writer and you can click on a new document. And what's really nice is that Paper Guide does create an outline for you already. So my document is going to be about the effects of apple cider vinegar on blood glucose levels. You can choose your language and automatically create document outlines and choose your citation style. Then click on create. Okay, so this is the outline it generated. You can also have it generate another outline, but if you like it, just click on add outline. Okay, so this is your research paper, the outline fully built out for you already. And then you can ask the AI anything. You can highlight, ask the AI, you can cite, format your text. You can also click right here as well, ask the AI. And maybe I can say, continue writing. And the AI will continue writing for this particular section. Okay, so this is my paragraph, then click on accept. And it also adds the citations as well. Okay, so this is the journal article, and then another one right here. You can export this, so once you are done with your writing, you can export this as a docx. And if I click here, you can update the document settings and you can also check for plagiarism as well. So it's scanning my document and it says minimal similarity, mostly original content. Great, obviously I didn't uh, finish my article, but it does give you a score. And with tier two and tier three, you get unlimited AI writer plagiarism checks. Okay, so uh, let me go back. And we can also humanize it as well. So if you highlight the text, click on Ask AI and click on Humanize. And here we go. So it says, in recent years, we've seen a significant rise in diabetes and metabolic disorders. So that's the humanized version. Now the original one says, in recent years, the prevalence of diabetes and metabolic disorders has risen significantly. So the humanized version does sound like a human uh, did write it. Okay, so it does uh, work, I think, uh, pretty well. And again, with tier two and three, you get unlimited AI writer content humanizers. Okay, so I think that's a really great feature. Now, one thing about Paper Guide is that there is no chat on the right-hand side that you can use as you are writing your article. Now with Afri, you could use the chat on the right-hand side, but with Paper Guide, it's not that easy. You could use the Ask AI and have it write for you, but in terms of doing manual research and reading articles, you would need to go to your My Chats and do your research right here and then copy anything and then go back to your writer and then paste it or write whatever it is you found when doing your research in the uh, chat mode, okay? So that's one thing I don't like about Paper Guide.
But one feature I really like that Afri does not have are the workbooks. Okay, so the workbooks are essentially the literature review and extract data. Okay, so you can find top research papers. So let me just uh, search for apple cider vinegar. Okay, now let me search. So paper guide will find all of the research papers and list them out right here. And it'll provide you with insights at a glance. It also provides you with a summary from seven papers. So this is the first one. These are the insights for this paper. And what's also great is that you can add additional columns, so additional um, insights. So TLDR, we can have a summary, methodology, key findings, so on and so forth. So you can, at a glance, do your research across seven um, papers all at once. So a really great way to do quick research, effective research, instead of reading each research paper one by one, you could use AI to basically help you do very fast, effective research. So once you do your search, it essentially turns into a workbook. So this is your workbook of your research on whatever it is you searched. Now you can extract data as well of the documents you've uploaded. So if I click on this and click on my apple cider vinegar folder, I can select the PDF. Now again, they could only analyze PDFs. So I can click on extract data of these three PDFs and it's the same thing. So I can do like insights, um, you know, conclusion, research gaps, um, funding source, so on and so forth. Okay, so really great way to do quick, effective research without you manually reading the article or having AI summarize the article one by one. Paper Guide essentially does everything for you. You can view the document by clicking on the link and taking a look at the actual paper. You can also view the PDF or you can copy the citation, copy it, and then you can go back to your writer, go in here, and then you can paste it. Okay, so there we go. Now, when it comes to your workbooks, it's important to know the data extractions. So 25 documents per extraction, 100, and 100 for tier two and three. Tier one only has 25 doc documents per extraction. So an extraction is essentially uh, the workbooks. So it'll extract all of these um, information for each paper. So if you wanna extract a lot, then you should get tier two because it's 100 documents per extraction. Okay, so that was a comparison between AFRI and paper guide. Hopefully you have a much better idea of which AI research tool is best for you. Now, if you need additional help, click the link in my description to a quiz, quick five question quiz that you can fill out to help you determine which of these two AI research assistants is right for you. And if you want access to my free Notion documents of the best SaaS tools to grow your business, click the link in my description, fill out the form, for free access to this document. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and if you wanna check out my other videos, click any of the ones on the screen. Thanks.